Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today I have another 240 video. Today though, we are replacing the fuel injectors. This is my first time going to be doing this. So we'll see how it goes. It's not the best job, honestly. It's actually done very, very sloppy. But we're gonna try and fix it and make it better because I really think that is what is making my car not run smoothly. It feels like it's misfiring. Um, when I press on the gas, I don't really go anywhere. It's just getting stuck. And when I did drive it, the car felt like it wanted to die. Honestly, a lot of things are just pointing to the fuel injectors. So it is definitely that. Also, look at the wiring on this. It's literally held on by electrical tape, so... I don't know. A lot of them did have exposed wires as well, so I did try to cover some in the meantime while I did drive it. It's just not making the car run smoothly, so I did get some OEM replacement injectors, so hopefully that makes the car run smoothly. I'm actually scared the car's not even going to turn on at all after this. When I did get the 240, there was no power to the fuel pump, so that was one of the biggest issues in this car in the beginning. But then out of nowhere, it just turned on and it's stayed on since then. I'm terrified that now I'm gonna be messing with it and it's not gonna turn back on. But if it doesn't, I just found this in my pocket. <laughs> I was doing other stuff earlier, but I didn't record it because it was not entertaining. If it doesn't turn back on, this is my foreshadow right now. I need to take off all this electrical tape and I'm gonna be taking off this fuel rail first and then try and take them out. Hopefully they're not too stuck on there. I'm going to disconnect that fuel pump. Once you release the pressure, now you can take off those two bolts. Um, these ones are 12 millimeters. It. Got my extension. The other one is under all this junk. And we'll need cow. I got things so hard to get. Now, for the real struggle to not drop it. I didn't drop it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're working with. So I'm basically gonna cut off all of these little plugs off and then take off this fuel rail and this should be good to go. These ones I'll snip here, get rid of all this. Here, I'll snip right here, right here. These ones are already snipped off. They came off with the, with the electrical tape. So I'll just basically be cutting these ones, these ones, and these ones. So these are the two lines I'm going to be taking out to take off the fuel rail. gas all over my foot right now because I tilted this I'm trying to take my thumbnail and I keep spraying myself with gas I literally feel like I showered in fuel that's what I smell like right now I literally just went to war with these but spray some WD-40 
go ham with the pliers. Literally just go put them, twist them, and pull at the same time. Here we are. The new injectors come with the seal and everything and the old ones. Also got the little pigtails, connectors to wire these and we should be good to go. I am gonna lube them up with some Vaseline. So I'm gonna go get that right now. I saw on a forum, someone said to use Vaseline. I've seen other people said to use motor oil. Now let's add the little connectors. Now we're left with this. We're almost done. Now we just got a wire, which was the part I was scared for the most. All this disconnected, but it's going back on and then I might get to wiring this. Hopefully I don't have to take this back off because that would be annoying. So I just did the first two and now I'm gonna try and explain to you guys what I've been doing. So I'm doing all of the left white wires that are connected to the fuel injectors to the common wire on the harness, which is the red wire. Just twisting this wire. And then I get these, these little butt connectors so that I could crimp them. So I kind of just check to see if it fits. Um, that would be fine, but I've just been cutting it to try and fit it as snug as possible. So I just get these little wire clippers. I just cut a little bit off. And I twist again. Just back. Okay, like that should be fine. Then I get the crimpers. And then I crimp it and I get some of the heat shrink put this in first and then feel where I need to cut so kind of like I just cut like right where it ends like that and I get the red wire. I cut some of this off as well. It's usually too long for it. Yeah, it doesn't even go in. So let's cut off a little bit. Also, it's like 2 a.m. right now, so I'm so tired that I want to finish this. Okay, so once the red is in, I'm just going to crimp it. Now we're going to put the heat shrink on it and burn it. Voila! Now we do the same thing to the other side. I'm so annoying. I forgot to put the little heat shield thing. Oh no. I'll see what I can do tomorrow. 
I don't know why I said heat shield, I meant heat shrink. Now I won't forget the heat shrink. It looks very messy because I didn't cut down the white wires, but I was too scared that I was gonna mess up and that I was gonna cut too much. So I kind of left them. Honestly, it works out, especially for like this one. If I would have cut it, I would have cut too much because the wires from the harness are kind of far, so I kind of needed that space. But for now, it's okay. We'll just tuck them away. Now the real question is if the car turns on. So I'm gonna put back the fuel pump fuse and then see if the car turns on. In moment of truth <gasps> it doesn't sound great but it turned on <laughs> it's 2 30 in the morning and i just finished um i'm super tired i have to be up early today i'm glad i finished this because i've been putting it off for a really long time the car is kind of idling funky but i'm gonna figure it out tomorrow because now, all I can say is at least it turned on because I didn't even have hope for that. That's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.